Hello, I'm Renaud. I'm Shru. And I am Oedda. What are Virios? Because they are useful for everyone. Because they make everyday calculations easier. Especially for students and mothers teaching their children calculation basics. So share it. In this video, I'll be showing you a great way for multiplication, whether you're multiplying whole numbers by whole numbers or whole numbers by decimal numbers or even decimal numbers by decimal numbers. And in my own opinion, I think that this is the best way to do the multiplication. Now we're going to draw a table made of three columns because this number has three digits and only one row because this number is made of one digit. Now after we drew the table, we drew three diagonal lines and you're going to know what they are for in a minute. Um, now all we have to do really is place the 5 over here, the 2 over here and the 3 over here and the 7 by the side. And we're going to take each square and multiply the numbers. Um, for example, we'll take the first square and that would be 3 times 7 and that's 21. Same thing with the 2, 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 5 is 35. And now what we have to do is add up the diagonal columns. And what I mean by that is this. The first column, we only have a 1, so it's just 1. The second column, diagonal column, it'll be 6, because that's a 2 and a 4. Another 6, and a 3. And this is the answer. It would be 3,661. And this is called the Glossier method. And also, one of the things that I like about the Glossier method is that we can even multiply bigger numbers than the previous example. Um, for example, we have this number here. We're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to place the numbers. So, the 4 over here, the 3 over here, the 9 over here, the 1 over here, and the 23, of course, is the 2 over here, the 3 over here. And we're going to do the same thing we did in the previous example, and that would be taking each square and multiplying the numbers by its sides. So the first square over here, we have the 1 and the 2. We're going to place the 0 in here and the 2 in here. Um, also, we have the second square, a 2, 1, and 9, that would be 18. 2 by 3, the 0 and the 6. 2 times 4, 0 and the 8. And now we're going to also do the same thing with the second row. We're going to take the first square, and that would be 3 times 1, 0 over here, and the 3. Second square, 3 times 9, and that would be 27. 3 times 3, 0, 09. 3 times 4 is 12. And now we're going to do the same thing again, and that would be adding up the diagonal columns. For the first column, we have the 3 only, so it's going to be 3. For the second column, we have a 2 and a 7, and that would be 9. And for the next column, we have an 8 and a 2 and a 9, and that would be a 19. Uh, what are we going to do with this 19? We're going to place the 9 over here and take the 1 for the next uh, diagonal column. We'll put it right here. So, in this column, we have a 1 and a 6 and a 2, and that would be 9. With the 1 we have over here, it's going to be a 10. So, a 0 in here and we're going to take the 1 for the next diagonal column. Uh, it's a 9, an 8 and a 1, and with the 1 here, it's, an, uh, it's a 10 again. So we place the 0 over here and take the 1 for the next diagonal column, and it only has 1, obviously, a 0, 1, 1, so it's 1. So the answer is 1, 0, 0, 9, 9, 3. And now I'm going to give you an example with a decimal number. Uh, consider these x's and y's any real numbers. So, where's the decimal point? It's over here. And what we're going to do is this. Uh, we're going to take the place where the decimal number is and follow the line. For example, we have this point in here. We're going to follow this line. And it's going to stop here. Do you know why? Because this number ha actually has a decimal number over here. So, that's where they meet. And, of course, we're going to follow our diagonal lines. So, whatever the answer is, the decimal point is going to be over here. 
And this is what makes Glossier method so great, is that you can multiply decimal numbers. Share this video with your friends and stay tuned for our next video. Goodbye.